this didn't epically fail. They're not as fluffy as they're supposed to be. Obviously, as you saw when I started cooking them, they were a lot fluffier. I just need to perfect how to cook them. I will keep practicing. They're definitely thicker than normal pancakes, but nowhere near as thick as they should be. But I just thought I'd end up with a load of messed up batter that I'd have to bin. I didn't expect this to go so well. So yeah, I'm gonna see what they taste like. I put some maple syrup um, and cinnamon on top of them. But it really wasn't that hard to cook. It's just mixing the two batters together. You have to start with two separate batters and then it's just mixing the batter together, which is the hard part. I will link uh, below the recipe that I used. It's um, a YouTube video. I mean, my kitchen now looks like this, but it was so worth it. I'm still snacking on my failed Rice Krispie cake attempt. Like, in quarantine, I'm doing really well, still like, keeping up my health and fitness. But I'm also not eating as healthy as I usually do, and I'm totally okay with that. It's nice to know, you know, that if I have to eat, like, you know, something to keep going, then I will eat that. Certain foods are cheaper, or certain foods are non-perishable, more so than others. There's some stuff that you have to eat that, you know, you wouldn't usually eat, but it's reassuring to know that I'm okay eating whatever. Yes, I am used to eating healthy, um, and I love it at the moment. If I have to eat something else, I can, which is nice because I don't want to become one of those people that eat so healthy they get scared of everything else. But I consider myself recovered and I don't think there's any worry of that, but you know, I'm also um, still always going to be cautious. This tastes so good. I've got my weighted blanket. Um, yesterday, this is going to be the most unprofessional a review it's not a review because i haven't really tried it yet but mella is that how you say it was kind enough to send me one of their blankets i've been following them for a while and i've always wanted to try them out and then they messaged me and i was like oh my god but yeah i'll do like a little like review once i've tried it more um if i find that it helps me it's just such a lovely i love like the aesthetic of the brand such a lovely little box that it came in and then it came with all of this it's so fancy but i just want to quickly read like what it helps with it says like you know what it does and the background behind the like research of weighted blankets and stuff um weighted blankets work through imitating deep pressure touch stimulation otherwise known as deep touch pressure dtp DTP is a gentle distributed pressure on the body. It can be achieved through weighted blankets, massage, or even hugs. It has a calming, soothing effect on people's moods. The weighted blanket have demonstrated similar benefits for people with anxiety. I have anxiety, um, so that's why I wanted to give this a go, and that's why I've been following them for a while, and that's why I was so excited when they said they'd send me one, and which is why I will continue to use it until it doesn't set off my claustrophobia. But I don't wanna give it a go, so I just thought I'd mention that because that's such a lovely bland, bland brand. If it's if it's something you uh, feel like you could be interested in, then I thought it was worth a mention. They didn't say that I had to like make a video or anything, but I just thought it was a nice idea because it is like such a lovely brand. They're not like a super big developed brand yet, so I do just wanna like help them out if I can. Use the code MELLAKIDS20 to get an exclusive discount while stocks last. I assume that's 20% off, is it? Can you see that? Probably not. And then they've also got a £10 discount for just like all of their other blankets, which is Mella Friends. having some lunch i couldn't feel myself making this because my phone was about to die and i couldn't be bothered to go upstairs and get my charger i won't lie um i've got some cheese and onion on toast i've started to make grilled cheese onion cheese onion cheese and onion sandwiches it's something that my dad used to make all the time and i was like oh i want to start making it but i never did because i'm lazy and because i'm stuck inside most of the time at the moment i finally did it honestly quarantine is a perfect time to just do stuff that you haven't been able or like you know even been bothered to do for like the longest time but yeah i'm going to eat this i'm gonna sit in this sun patch and enjoy and then i have some crisps i know i'm not gonna eat it over the top of my blanket because i don't want to ruin it i don't want to get any crumbs on it i'm just having a quick snack um and shortly i will probably make my dinner I've replied to some DMs, uh, just done some stuff on my phone, posted on Instagram, that kind of thing. 
Um, I've called quite a lot of my family members to just check, like, check up on them, see how things are. I think it's really important to, you know, like, keep talking to people, especially if you're on your own, um, so that you don't go, like, batshit crazy. I usually would go on a walk at about this time, because it's, you know, the sun will set soon, but I don't think I'll bother. Because um, I went to town today, so, you know, I've got my, like, daily fresh air. I picked up my tablets, and I also got a load of hair dye because I'm actually going to do my roots. I just need to wash all my pink out and then I can dye my roots. I am just making some dinner. I can't decide whether I want rice or pasta, but I don't have a lot of rice left, I don't think. I'm going to have chicken and vegetables as I have a lot of the time at the moment. Quarantine means eating the same meals over and over again. But I'm mixing them up using different ingredients and stuff. Spaghetti. I am getting myself a nice old non-stick pan and getting rid of this scratched piece of rubbish. If I was watching this video, it would drive me insane how disgusting this pan is. Um, at the moment, I'm using the chicken seasoning, just a normal one from Sainsbury's, and also this garlic seasoning. And I'm putting that on chicken. Have a nice little relaxing evening then i'll see if i can uh, have a shower and get some of this pink out my hair i feel like i'll do some sort of physical exercise like even if it's just stretching i don't know if that does counts as exercise but um okay it definitely doesn't okay i'm going to eat my pasta mm -hmm. 